Oh, you're one of those, aren't you? I am, yes. You're one of those that can't watch yourself on the telly. <laughs> it makes me feel a bit sick. Does it? it? Yes, yes. So why, why were you on the... Well, maybe this is part of the reason, uh, on the brink of giving it all up? I think um, I'm kind of like 20 years in into this. And I had a bit of a wobble and um, I was really bored and frustrated as well because I was being put up for really, really great jobs and they just weren't landing. Right. And when scripts were coming in, I was just kind of flat and deflated. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, I need something. I need something to set me alight again. Well, you and this was it. had a complete career change. You were thinking I about did. being a midwife at, at one point. I did. I, I I'd, um, applied for it. Did and you really? it was something that was... It was something that... I, it was like a scratch, I needed itch. Yeah. And I got in touch with my, my beautiful midwife who is the midwife of my two children. And I phoned her and I said, Angela, can we go for a, a coffee, maybe a bacon butty, and um, have a chat about something? I've made a big choice. And she said, what is it? And I said, I've, I'm thinking of becoming a, a midwife. Wow. And she turned Which would be an incredible thing to do. Wouldn't it? What did she say? Well, she turned to me and she said, Eve, what makes you think that a woman in the, the late stages of labour wants to look down and see Gwen Cooper between her legs? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Good point. Yes. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I thought to myself, check yourself. That's exactly <laughs> the truth. So what was it that hauled you back? Was it this that hauled you back? I think it was, yeah. I think it was... Um, I needed something and this came along at the right time. And it's, it's not like a usual project that you get. Yeah. Faith Howells is a very unique character and it's a very unique project. Mm. And I fell in, deeply in love with it and I had to do it. So explain a little bit about who she is and sort of set the scene for anyone that hasn't seen it. OK, well, I play Faith Howells and she's a, a lawyer in a place called Abercorn, which is set in the beautiful Larn down in West Wales. And um, she's on maternity leave and uh, she goes on a divorce party and has a great time. And in the morning she kisses her husband goodbye and he kisses the children and he leaves and he never comes home. Right. So it's, it's a project about humanity, mm. love, loss and survival of a mother of three. And there's, uh, there's an air of suspicion about her as well because uh, after he's gone there's the discovery that he's about £60,000 in debt, he's taken this one and a quarter million pound insurance, life yeah. insurance policy out. Yeah. Uh, so all of that beginning, we don't know whether they're red herrings, we don't uh -huh. know what, what, what they are. Um, but when you come into the second episode, it, it feels like a completely different show. Yeah. I mean, we set the first one up as a, as a joyful place and a very happy family and everything to live for, and um, nothing like this could possibly happen mm. to these people. Yeah. And, of course, it, it can. It can happen to anybody. Yeah. Well, what's, uh, what's incredible is, uh, is the way that this has... Well, and I suspect it's probably lovely for you because it's been discovered. Yeah. So you, you make something like this, quite low budget. Yes, um, very much so. Only shown on BBC Wales. Yes. And then it went on to the iPlayer. And yeah. that's when it was discovered on the iPlayer and you're upwards of a sort of 11 million views now on, yes. on the iPlayer. I mean, this has been going on for a while now. Since October, we went on S4C, which is the Welsh channel. Yeah. Um, and then we went on to BBC Wales. And then it went on to iPlayer. And then all of a sudden, it just every week, it just started to tote to up and tote up. And we were going... What's going on? People are talking about this, people are watching this, people are really enjoying it and really connecting with it. Felt part of something very, very special. Mm. Yeah. And so because it was um, made by BBC Wales, yeah. you had to record sort of simultaneously when you were filming in Welsh yes. also. And so this is a new... I mean, you're from Wales, obviously, am, but yeah. you don't speak Welsh to it, that no. sort of level, I imagine. Not a word. Not really. a word. So no. you had to l learn. I mean, that must I have did. been... That's a, that's a tough... Cool, isn't yeah. it? Really tough, but incredibly rewarding. And I was looking for a challenge and that was it. Well, and that, that is a it. big challenge. So you Dude. shot it, essentially shot it twice? Yes, back to back. So we, essentially, we made 16 hours of drama, not eight. So we, yeah, yeah, very So you'd do, a big, you'd do a big scene in English yes. and then you'd reset and you'd Flip do the whole thing again. Well. And, That's yeah. incredible. And, and Pip Broughton, the director, we don't rehearse. We go in and we just do it. It's like going at the edge of a diving board, jumping in and hoping to God there's water to catch you at the end. And, and the, the other wonderful connection here is that Bradley, your husband, is actually playing Evan, your husband, in this. So is this, is this the first time you've done anything like that together? It's the first time we've played a husband and wife. Yeah. We, we played brother and sister. Oh, <laughs> did you? <laughs> Yes, it sounds even weirder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we played brother and sister at the RSC and they'd cast us completely separate. They didn't know 
we'd been together for five years and we had auditions on different days and we were cast as brother and sister in that. So I'm pleased to be playing his wife <laughs> this time around. Yeah. I love it. Uh, yeah. Brilliant. So yeah. what with the Very English Scandal, which yes. you, you shot with, uh, with Ben Whishaw, which was oh. amazing, mm. absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Ben um, is such a great guy. And, and, and I think you've just done The New Cold Feet. Yes. As well. So, and th this as well, Keeping the Faith, yes. uh, which is tomorrow at uh, nine on BBC One. Thank goodness you didn't give it up. I know. I th yeah, I'm, I'm on the right path and I love my job. Yeah. So, um, yeah, hurry. Well, we love watching you, that's for sure. Oh, thank you. Really uh, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.